Okay, last try, really. <laughs> that was the last try for today. I'm not giving up, but here's what I do. Uh, for some reason, I simply can't uh, move that uh, webcam window. And I can't move the chat window, but that's not the problem here. Problem is the, the, the webcam window. So um, I'm going to close that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably for the best. I'll just close it. Uh, I'll stay with you. No, <laughs> don't worry. I'll stay with you. I'm just going to close the webcam window so you can see the whole screen. Okay, let's do that. And let's head back to that amazing game of Ashen Empires. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm not back. I'm visually back. But, you know, just in case you miss me, tell me so. And I'm, I'm magically back again. Okay. But you don't need me. You need to focus on the game. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I can I can even do that on my keyboard. Cool. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Isn't that great? Hey, hello. Who's there? By the way. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, we got to pin that because it looks so cool and then yeah heads back let's head back shoot let's head back to Drenzik I was about to say it's not called Drenzik anymore it's not called Drenzik classic anymore no Drenzik classic was entirely uh, at the game and that's its successor. Uh, yeah. Okay. I maybe have to uh, go back a bit. I just uh, created a new character on a new account, a blank new. Um, on a game, I been playing for over 20 years over 23 years now almost 24 years now it's a role-playing game and people really used to role play there and in, in, in forensic classic I uh, just pop in ah, here I am. okay I'm back uh, good, be gone um, <laughs> I, I just feel so excited. It's so cool. <coughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Stop saying you're sorry. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to role play and show you how to role play. No, I'm not going to show you how to role play. I'm going to role play and... Um, Innkeeper, who would have thought? Huh. Um, I already chose uh, small blades as my favorite weapon. Uh, the great thing about this game is it, it's classless. When you create your character, you probably miss that. Um, oh, maybe miss that. You have to choose between Elves, night elves, humans, and orcs. There used to be, uh, whoa, what was that called? That can, can someone help me? Those, uh, uh blue guys. Tundrians, right? Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Uh, off you go. Um, and that's one choice that already matters. Because elves profit benefit from 
from uh, Dexterity. They get one armor class point per two Dexterity points. That is per level. Um, whereas Orcs get a profit, a benefit more from um, Constitution. They get more health points. I think it's seven health points instead of five per Constitution points. Correct me if I'm wrong. Whoever is here, it's maybe King Narco. <laughs> uh, I watched uh, one or two of his streams of Ashen Empires. He's a long time player like me. Uh, a really cool guy, a nice guy, a wonderful streamer. I so love it uh, to 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 watch those streams. Uh, the game we we both enjoy and, and see how he enjoys it as well. Um, I've been playing this game for yeah over twenty three years now, and uh, I really wanted to show you it. Uh, talking about showing, I'm gonna show myself. It's again. <laughs> Sorry me. Um, up you go. Um, uh, yeah. I'm, 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 um, and I'm not giving away my in-game, a real in-game uh, identity um, for uh, because I've got reasons. I'm not, I'm not a bad guy uh, or role-playing a bad guy. I'm not even a bad guy in real life. <laughs> uh, on that, on my main account, let's call it that. But uh, yeah, I don't. I really don't feel just comfortable uh, giving away my, my in-game uh, character name, which is, oh, shoot, no, don't say it. Don't say that word. Me, me, me. Nice to say me. Um, yeah. So, uh, no, it's not because of you, Narco. Uh, we know each other in-game. <laughs> Who doesn't know King Narco? Come on. Um, and there are two things I can tell. Uh, we we get along in game pretty well. We don't meet that often, but yeah, on, on chat we get along pretty well. Um, and he once helped me with uh, lava mold. That yeah, you helped so many people with lava mold, so that's not that's not a, a giveaway. No. And that was a long time ago. So, yeah, back to, to uh, Ashen Empires. Uh, we landed on, we've been washed ashore, as uh, Lord Trembley put it, on the island. Oh, that's so cool. I can't smoke without you seeing me. <laughs> that's so cool to not have to hide my cigarette like in plain sight oh my god I'm back oh shoot no that was staged oh, I admit um yeah I'm, I'm I'm silly I'm so excited um yeah I, 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 so 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 I'm washed ashore on the islands of Valinor um we will run into a lot of um, Lord of the Rings, Tolkien-based stuff here because Lothgar, the first developer of the game, was a big fan of uh, Lord of the Rings. He still is a big fan of Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm getting a cold, by the way. So, yeah. Mm. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah. The former, the, 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 he was the first developer of the game. That game really had like almost a dozen, uh, almost a dozen of uh, developers and a couple of, of, of companies running it. Right now, and for a long time, 
it's run by Aaron Will Games and they're really doing a great, great job. Shout out to them. They're a really good company, really standing behind Ashton Empires, really keeping things up. And let's just hope they will keep up the good work, the excellent work. Good work. Right. Wow. Yeah. You know, I, I complain a lot about stuff in, in Ashton Empires. But developers listen to us. It's a small player base of I just checked when when I chose the server. There are currently uh, sixty people playing. Uh, uh, on peak times, it's about two hundred. But that's really peak times uh, on on two servers. So that's four hundred people playing. That's cool. Uh, you can have a monthly subscription, just several plans to choose from up to six months in advance. It's definitely, absolutely not pay to win. It is not pay to win. You have to pay for expansions, but we don't have to worry about that for quite a time. Uh, I paid for all th three expansions. They came in pretty, pretty well priced, uh, pretty cheap, pretty well priced. Um, and you can uh, buy items, cosmetic items, more or less, for uh, real life money. Yeah, it's not pay to win. All that matters in that game is your skills. But I'm not going to roleplay a badass guy because I'm not badass in real life, so I can't roleplay that well. I'm going to roleplay an innkeeper. Um, that cute little dagger here. Can you see it? I, I actually should see it. I'm gonna a uh, rusty pocket knife. It's even a pocket knife. Oh, well, that's that's that looks cool. That won't do much damage. It has three point fifty base DPS. That's <laughs> yep. That that's our very first weapon. Um, you can. That's very cool. I haven't seen that in many games. You can brew your own beer, and I really need that as an innkeeper. It's not cooking. Ah, you can't even learn it. Uh, here brewing, but brewing. Before you can brew your own beer, you need weed and weed. Oh, shoot, shoot, I just said weed. Yeet, I'm sorry. Was it a, a Freudian slip? Um, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Trust me. And just, it just was. No. Okay. Thank you. Heading back now. Warp. Here we go. <laughs> um, e sugar, etc., etc. You all need that uh, uh, for cooking as well. And as an innkeeper, I need to uh, to cook. Oh, that's a lovely spider here. So I need to find that farming trainer and it's upstairs <laughs> I'm sorry uh, I'm not and I'll, I'll, we'll close the party window yeah you can party like real hard <laughs> uh, in a game now you can uh, create parties and, and hunt together I'll probably have a, a, a shout to uh, the help channel to give me a party, as we call it, 
because that's great for auto loot. Oh shoot, where was that guy? Uh, it's been so long that I really forgot. Oh, I'm running into walls a lot. Don't uh, because you know movement prediction. It's on. Okay. <laughs> um. Whoop. Okay. Um. Where is that farming guy? My rattle, my rattle. I remember that uh, quest with that annoying boy who lost his rattle and you have to kill like a lot of snakes to get it back. <laughs> That's carpentry. I think we're close. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad uh, that I'm D Davy Davy Logan. No, I'm not going to get that quest, that annoying little bugger. Uh, everyone hates him. Oh, yeah. Those are spawn gates. Spawn gates. I'll hop in. <laughs> um, in case you die and you eventually uh, going back down again. Okay. Thank you. Um, in case you die and you will probably die a lot in this game, it's PvP, but it will. Mostly die to uh, mobs. You respawn at those gates and you respawn at the last spawn gate you clicked on. There are two types of spawn gates those, that's a normal one, and chaotic uh, spawn gates for wanted players and evil players. But we're not going to get evil uh, alignment because uh, we're not going to engage in, in PvP just retaliate oh come on do me a favor and pop up already that's uh, weapon and, and armor forge where is that can someone help me, please? Like, I'm lost. Hello? Nobody? Okay. Mm. <coughs> Off we go. Um... This is... Cool. <laughs> Um, ah, there's that farming icon. Oh my god, I missed that farming trainer. It's not like he's really green. Yes, I seek your knowledge. Farming supplies. Okay, yeah, I need a shovel. <coughs> Rahaka. Okay, that's his assistant. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, I'll just click through the dialogues. <clears throat> oh, foraging. Everyone loves foraging. Uh, foraging seeds. But I really need, I mean, I don't need it, but it's pretty useful. Uh, yeah, okay, no, no, that was the captain of the guard. He gives us a wonderful knapsack. And we have 16 spaces to put our seats in. Cool. That looks better. We are almost equipped. 
<laughs> no, we fell from it. Um, hot bars. Yeah, it's not hot bra. It's okay. Uh, people who play this game know what I'm talking about. That's a running gag. Clear, clear again. Yeah. <laughs> I usually play with those hot bars. Where is hot hot bar? <laughs> oh shoot! I miss her. Or oh, do I? No, I didn't. Uh, never mind. I'm 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 talking random stuff because my my brain is just racing through all these twenty years. A young mate, that's a cool name, isn't it? A young mate. Ah, cool. Okay, let's just forage here and you can't. That looks like a bush to me. Yeah. And we will get our first experience points. We can click on that here, that progress bar, level progress bar. Your experience points is that, and you need that more experience needed for level three. Yeah, the first couple of levels, like until let's say 40, are really, really quick. But then it gets tedious, especially after level uh, 105. To Level cap is 110. We are definitely not going to reach that today. Absolutely not. No, it took me years to get from level 100 to 105. That was the first race of the level cap. No, the first race was from uh, 45 to 60, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm mistaken. Anyone knows? Anyone? Nobody knows. Okay, so I'm heading back. Um, yeah. But it's not grinding. Uh, because you can always do what you want. And there's no... There is a quest line. But you're absolutely free to do what you want in this game. And that's so cool. Because it's cool. And I say so. No, it's because I so, so, so freaking love it. Uh, uh, yep. You find nothing. Okay. Oh, hold on. What, what do I need? I need, I need, I need. Uh, tomato. Uh, tomato. However you pronounce it. While well, those red, fruity, fresh, watery, Thing is, oh, a thing. Ah, I'm talking about things. Hey, uh, re trick, re trick, like maybe like that. Maybe, uh, maybe I just, you know, maybe I just re trick, re trick. <laughs> She's such a um, positively wiped weirdo. Uh, who does that game? What it's called? Something with island bre bre breeding? I don't, yeah, breeding island? I don't know. Uh, pretty fun to watch. She's absolutely positively wiped weirdo. Whoa, we gained another overall levels. 
Yeah, talking about levels, that's probably a good idea to put that here. Uh, you have an overall level, which you can see here, and then top right bottom corner. And you have experience in skills. And you gain that by doing them. Learning by doing. Isn't that great? Those are kept. Those uh, skills, skill levels are kept at 100. And your main level is kept at uh, 110. We gained two orbs. You gain two orbs per level. And we're gonna put that into strength. I know, I know. As a farmer, you should have intelligence all the way, all the way, all the way. But trust me, you want to have at least 30 strength before you do anything else. Because it really helps with carrying capacity, you can wear decent, half decent armor, and it helps with weapons enormously. Um, and you need that in the beginning. Unless you're going full mage, then you definitely need intelligence all the way up to 200. But then you don't have to carry, uh, carry around all that really heavy stuff, really heavy armor, uh, those mage robes, uh, pretty lightweight. So yeah, but we are going um, strength first and intelligence after that. So. 100 strength, 100 int, uh, intelligence. That's the build of a, of a, of a, who knows it? Who knows it? I'm still here, you know. <laughs> who knows it? Anyone? Narco? Narco, maybe? Because you are one. Uh, last time I ran into you, you were a... <gasps> Battle Mage, right? Thank you. Okay, off I go again. <laughs> okay, so I'm going Battle Mage build. Because, not because Narco is Battle Mage, a Battle Mage, but because it's cool. And Narco is cool too. Hellguard has left. He helped. Oh, uh, You have collected enough tomato seeds to complete the quest, so let's head back. That's cool. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot something really important. I forgot my ginger ale. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, let's head back. A wrong door. What, what? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I seek your knowledge. Dear farming trainer. Yeah, these seeds are, seeds are in good shape. I know it's just forage them. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that wasn't beginner's luck, trust me. Because I'm not a beginner. I mean, I mean, I, I'm not a beginner. <laughs> oh, he said beginner's luck. Seriously. Uh, I'm not a beginner. No, no. Uh, well, this, this character is a beginner, but I'm not. So, off I go again. So, yeah. When you, yeah, I want to try again and, and show you that it wasn't beginner's luck. 
Yes, I seek your knowledge. Fresh orange juice in the morning for breakfast. Who doesn't love that? I need I need some orange seeds to plant for to plant a new crop of trees. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could forage five orange seeds for me? Oh, sure. To your farming trainer, of course I can do that. Yep. Whoop. Unless I'm, I got lost downstairs, I can totally do that. Um, once I find a good farming, uh, farming, foraging spot, this one looks good. And he wants orange, orange seeds, wheat, wheat, not wheat. Um. We need wheat later. Lickety. Lickety has left the help channel. And let's check if Sir Lickety comes back. Because that's his alt. I know who you are, Sir Lickety. <laughs> but you don't know who I am. <laughs> uh, who? Ooh, evil. Love. Whoa. Okay. Off I go again. Um that was close. Off. Yeah, thank you. Uh I really wonder why I the, 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 game, uh, the, the, the game windows aren't messed up already because they tend to. I'm always switching back uh, between Twitch Studio and the game, but they don't mess up yet. Are we leveling up so fast because of Power Hour? And it's gonna be a whole weekend, extended weekend. Hooray! Yeah, we already got four orange seeds. Cotton. Oh my god, I've oh, I planted so much cotton. Yeah. But oh, cotton, cotton, eight cotton seeds. Barley, we need that too for our beer. But um, but um, but um, um, ha. Foraging reminds me of a, a, a big issue in game. Not only in this game, but in many, many, many games. Macra. Yes, you can macro. Hold on. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can macro <coughs> if you know how to, and it's not really difficult to do, I think. Uh, um, and this game and its mechanics uh, really invite you to because getting to, I don't know, level 100 in sewing or uh, milling or smelting. Smelting is worse than milling. <laughs> um, really takes some time, like years, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, depends on how often you play. But I think um, you shouldn't do it. Um, I'm completely, no, I'm not completely against it. I totally understand why you, when you macro in this game. Um, I think everyone has tried it to some point, did it to some point, to, to some extent. Um, but I think it takes away the fun of playing. Maybe I can 
go, you know, go away again so we can see the game. Um, yeah, you, you can, of course, macro your way up to level 110 and level 100 in every skill. Uh, yeah, be freaking proud of it by macroing. <laughs> The, the, the only skill it takes is not to get caught. But, okay. That's a whole different topic. In fact, I think we could even have a, a whole only chat, chat only stream of oh, blood root. We already got a blood root. At level six foraging, that's amazing. How many did you need? Orange seeds, five, I think. Yeah, five. Um. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a macro, but then again, I can totally understand people in this game macroing. Uh, totally understandable, but it's not. The way I play the game. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I. Yay, another blood root. Uh, we just need one orange seed. Duh, snake, run away, run away. No, that was a bunny. Uh, Monty Python, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are, are, are fields. You know, very you plant uh, your your seeds, but we're not. Well, we, we we technically ready for that, but I'm not ready for it because I need one more orange seed. Come on, give me that orange seed already. Come on. Yay, another overall level. It's idiot. <laughs> okay. Those are all alts. Alts. How do you pronounce that? Alternate characters. How to know what time it is? Is it time? Okay, he found out. Yeah, he's probably role playing an idiot. I, I'm, I'm definitely not sorry for that. I mean, he literally, in this case, really literally called himself, named himself, idiot. So, yeah. Maybe he's role playing an idiot. So I'm off again. And we'll head back to foraging. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's have our first, very first message in chat. No. Oh, I'm so not funny. That's really not funny. But, okay. Um, hey, come on, just one more orange seed. That can't be that hard. Oh, yeah. Another thing that's pretty cool, you can create uh, you, uh, different windows and assign different uh, channels to them. We're gonna try and help channel here. Uh, 
Oh, he really says y'all. Uh, hold on. Who, 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 listen to any, uh, Okay, uh, always glad to help. I'm so helpful. I'm I'm really 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 cool. I'm 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 super. I I, I want to be a friend with me. Friends, hey, come on, let's be friends. No, I don't like you. Well, I do like you, but I don't like you. Shut up. And forage, and forage that last orange seed. Come on. There's nothing to forage here. Off we go. Um, uh, yeah, in the upper right corner, I placed my map. And you might have noticed that, as in uh, many other games, you start with the uh, uh, so-called fog of war and as you travel through through the lands of Renzik, Ashen Empires, I mean um, that fog of war will be revealed and you have a you end up with a beautiful map. Yeah, okay, I managed it. Okay, let's just forage out that uh, bush here. Bush, bush, bush. Oh, and put orbs into strength, which is totally, uh, totally wrong with foraging, but you know, Hunter strength first, please. Thank you. Um, in fact, the best profession for a battle mage is uh, a blacksmith because you need a lot of strength for mining because all yours is so heavy. And you need a lot of intelligence for smelting because, you know, smelting ores is pretty uh, much brain work. And you need a lot of strength to forge items like uh, weapons and, and uh, armor. Yeah, so <clears throat> the, the best profession, and it's pretty uh, good income as well in this game, um, for us would be uh, that of a blacksmith, but uh, I'm role playing an innkeeper. Um, as you might have noticed, I'm role playing it a bit on Twitch, a bit on Twitter. Um, but in this game, I'm going to, to role play uh, an innkeeper. And not a blacksmith, but okay. Maybe an innkeeper that, um, how do you put it? Uh, yeah, that, that doubles into uh, the profession of blacksmithing because he wants to be able to get his repairs done and in his in, yeah. So he doesn't have to pay another uh, blacksmith to to do repair stuff, something like that. Yeah, I just came up with that. I'm, I'm so freaking proud. It's unbelievable. 
<laughs> okay, back to that farming trainer. Whoa. Hello again. Yes, I seek your knowledge. Yeah, those are great quality seeds and will do nicely. These should sprout up to be healthy orange trees and produce tasty fruit. Oh, I sure hope so. Say you are pretty good at foraging. Come back if you want a new task. Oh, I come, I'll come back. Uh, I'm already back. Hello again. Yes, I seek your knowledge. Now that you have some seeds collected, why don't you try planting some of them? Oh, I should have thought of that earlier. Like, come on, hold on. Like, why didn't you tell me that earlier that I can, you know, plant seeds that are already foraged? Oh my God. Oh, really? Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> back downstairs. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I try planting them. Visit the farm just outside of town. Yeah, I just showed you. Dig a hole with that shovel I gave you earlier. Okay. Put the seeds in the hole. Okay, shovel, hole, seeds, hole. Sometimes you will fail to get the seeds started. Okay. I... I hope I don't fail to dig a hole and to put the seed in because that's pretty a no-brainer. No, no you, you won't fail at that. But you will fail a lot uh, in the beginning. Um, yeah, rose chicken, rose chicken, chicken legs, chicken legs. Who doesn't love chicken legs? Uh, successfully plant a seed. Okay, let's do that. But oh, uh, uh, I, I'll have. Give me just a second. I'll ha have my ginger ale ready. I'll try. Get my ginger ale. Be right back. <laughs> All righty. I mean, all righty, all righty, like, and all right. <sighs> my beloved ginger ale. Oh my God, I so love it. <laughs> oh. Cheers, everyone. Wow. Well, huh? Okay, you know, you already know heading down stairs. <laughs> um, yep, let's head to the fields. I'll, I'll spend quite a bit of time. Oh, that idiot has left. I'm sorry. You don't make fun of names, but, you know, calling yourself, yourself, idiot in a role-playing game, really, um, it's really brave. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I always dig holes like that. Because... I don't have to move much. Okay, let's maybe start with cotton. Because cotton, yeah, it's pretty easy. We got our first seed planted. Failed with number two. Well, we're gonna fail a lot. Failed with number three. Ah, uh, number four, again. And number six again. And as you can see here in that combat, let's rename it to combat 
and uh, let, let, let's call it experience. Uh, when you successfully uh, do an action like planting, successfully plant a seed, you gain the normal experience. Let's put it that way. And if you fail, you only get half experience. So, yeah. And that's pretty, <laughs> for me, it was to, to, to level up. Uh, that was pretty harsh at times. It wasn't that way when I started, but it is now. Um, yeah, okay. We have to live with that. Uh, planting blood roots is probably not a good idea at the moment. Is that floater open already? Oh, okay, it's hidden hidden behind that twitch overlay. Well, come on. Uh, oh, our cotton plants are already starting to grow. In the meantime, we can actually uh, do something useful and forage some more seeds we'll get a message that our uh was idiot crow do uh, no we will get a message that our plant is uh, ready fully grown And we we will have some time to collect uh, the cotton after that time the the seeds the fruits the trees etc they wither away and before that they uh, your fruits can be taken by other players so yeah be careful Depends on, on, on what you what you plant. I mean, nobody's gonna steal apples. Yeah, maybe on this island, maybe on Valinor. Uh, but later on, uh, stuff like blood roots. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful a bit. Oh, yeah. Come on. That. What was it? A uh, rusty pocket knife against a trill. Oh, okay. Cool. <gasps> we got our first gem. A blue to pass worth 90 gold. Yay! Um, we're gonna sell that. Yeah, blood roots uh, are totally uh, useful in uh, alchemy. Oh, and oh, that that's a cool idea that just popped up in my head. A crazed innkeeper that devils into alchemy. How cool is that? Um, yeah. And in alchemy, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mentally back now. Um, I'm mentally away again. I'm mentally back. Blood roots. Yeah, blood roots. You can apply blood roots to your character uh, directly. And they will heal you, greatly heal you. They will cure uh, poison. Ah, another overall level. Oh, we have to be careful. 
Ale je. First things first. It will cure poison damage and will cure diseases. So they're pretty useful, but you can technically plant them at level one planting, no problem. But you will fail a lot, especially with with zero intelligence, ah, five intelligence. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, we have to be careful because um. Not really careful, but have to keep an eye on it. Uh, there's a level cap on Valinor. You have to leave. Well, you don't have to leave, but you don't get any experience points past. I think it was level 15 overall and uh, 10 overall, sorry, 10 overall and 15 in your skills and we are already at level 9 foraging how cool is that oh trill come on come on come on fight me come on oh and now we have one cotton plant ready nope no loot this time. You picked up one cotton. One cotton. Okay, that's... Wow, oh, that's a bit disappointing. That yield. But, okay. Uh... Oh, I got orbs to spend. Right. Did you see my weight uh, capacity going up? Because I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't um, watching. Yeah, but it did. Trust me. Let's head back to that farming trainer. Yes, I seek your knowledge. Osalka tells me you did a fine job. Planting. Of course I did. Remember, don't be discouraged if you fail. No, never. I'm never discouraged. Trust me. I just feel really bad and I want to... I didn't think that's appropriate. Ah, you will get bedding time. Yeah. And cooked chicken legs and golden letters. Okay. More intelligence will help you plant. Plant is capitalized um, like Robert plant of, you know, um, let's Zeppelin. <laughs> Off we go. Um, yeah, come back if you want a new task. I do want a new task, please. Hello again. Yes, I seek your knowledge. Yeah. Uh, stuff gets repetitive here a bit sometimes from time to time. Oh, uh, you have made excellent use of your foraging stick and shovel. Yeah, it's time to put that scythe to work. And nothing against time scythe can make defense. Well. <laughs> Safe breed to brave him when he takes three hands. Oh, that's Shakespeare. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cooked red Fleming is something to try if you need a boost. Yeah. Grow some wheat. And bring me some of your wheat grain. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, then we'll see how green your thumb really is. Yeah, totally green. From, you know, planting stuff. Um, uh, 
wheat. Okay. Uh, well, I love it. took took the wrong. Uh, lane i mean i'm mentally down a memory lane uh, anyway but yeah okay <laughs> those cotton plants should should wither away okay let's try wheat shit but him bum bum how many did you say? Ten? Yeah, ten. I'm fine with ten. And that triddle is already watching me. <laughs> uh, we've got thirty, thirteen, I mean, seeds, so we need maybe twelve holes stuck. And yeah, they, they disappear over time, which is actually great. So other people can use the space just in case you, you log out or get disconnected or something. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the, the last, oh, maybe the, not the last, yeah, one of the last tasks. <laughs> Ah, shoot. Failing so often. I'm gonna do it today. Uh -huh. This will take some time. That's what I told you. Uh, yeah, we planted... No, we... Yeah, we, we tried 12 seeds and we succeeded with three that's what i was expecting but yeah that's 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 bad let's see if that node is already uh came already back now it didn't oh i've been here before Yeah, that's what I mean with uh, repetitive and, and tedious and, and cows. Oh my god, I so love cows. I've got a wonderful ox. Oh, I don't like bulls and I don't like those goblin farmers. That's, that's bad because that goblin farm is way stronger than me. No, probably not. Oh, oh shoot. No, not, not with a treadle. As well okay it's gone and the gas is just standing there watching me getting attacked by a trill cool come on do your job no I'm not gonna loot that um um um, um I forgot <laughs> <laughs> probably wasn't that important um Yeah, the, the success rate. Ah, that's that Goblin Run quest. I hope I don't get stuck. So someone probably just uh, triggered that quest. It looks so cool. When they attack the city and attack me. Ah! Yeah, I got a bow and in Albion online and and it moves or oh, he I picture him uh, <laughs> uh, and he uh, he yeah let's just attack that goblin run and get rid of it already oh shoot come on die die already just die before I do <laughs> Yay, level two in your small blade, small blades skill. And we got 
Wan gold. Wow. One gold coin. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum. So, uh, what's it worth? No, that's not worth it. Yeah, in the beginning, you tend up. Uh, you you tend to pick up. Or you should actually pick up everything you can get your hands on legally <laughs> and and sell it to shops so you can get better equipment that really helps and those trills help and those snakes help too because you can actually skin them and get hides from them I won't do that because that's based on dexterity and we don't have dexterity so um, probably not worth it buying a skinning knife and uh, skinning uh, snakes but again it, it doesn't hurt either you know when you've got time you can skin them and tan the hides and make slings of the leather or maybe make a leather vest that's a good uh, beginner's armor because it's uh, sturdy and doesn't weigh much yeah I'm gonna show you I'm going to kill that snake uh, I hope. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sure. And I'm going to kill that bat. <laughs> oh, that was even a... That was even a quest line. Okay. Uh, you can skin that carcass. You can't skin every uh, animal. But you can skin uh, snakes and cows, but Puku died at the hands of Mamba. Okay, that means that some PvP is going on. That's just a message. Yeah, I should probably report back to the captain of the guard. I really want to get that wheat, uh, wheat <laughs> with a T uh, question, and then I'll call it a day. So let's save some space and plant those four seeds here like that and the more you plant the better you get you really get better fast and you'll have a much higher success rate you can totally plant uh, 99 99 out of 100 uh, wheat seeds at level 100 farming with uh, five intelligent coins. That's orbs. That's no problem. Yeah, even at you know uh, level 40, that should be totally doable. Okay, back to foraging. I mean, yeah, I've got target protection on because you shouldn't a a attack livestock in town. I could. Maybe. No, I don't. 
not on Valinor, but you can do that on the mainland and in other cities you can attack the livestock, but it will make you wanted, uh, well, it puts you in the wanted status. So guards will attack you on site. And trust me, you do not want to mess with city guards uh, unless you're uh, level 110 or can really outrun them. <laughs> you don't want to mess with them. They really pack a bunch. So uh, don't, don't do it. It's totally not worth it. I need more cut. And, uh, cut in wheat seeds. Come on. Wheat is actually one of the, uh, or even the most common uh, seed. Yeah, three of them. Bloodroot is actually pretty rare. Uh, there are higher level uh, seeds as well that you can forage. At, uh... Oh, our wheat plant is, is ready. Yay, another two wheat seeds. <coughs> and another foraging skill level. Okay, let's add that. Cool. At level 42, uh, 45. Yeah, 45 it is. Or 30. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm okay, I'm okay. So we're gonna use that sky. Um, ah, oh, I made it. Uh, called Malicent Seed. Yay, made it. Three out of three, that's cool. Um, and it's pretty popular se seed to plant because it, you can uh, craft ma magic ropes that sell for pretty pretty high uh, gold. Yeah, and harvesting that wheat gave us back seeds and that's a pretty cool thing because it uh how do you put it because you don't have to forage the seeds that's it yeah oh okay uh, i f i fail a lot now Oh, okay. Eight to go. Breathe. Come on, breathe. Three to go, uh, three left, I mean. <clears throat> Seven to go. We will eventually get there. It's just a matter of time, trust me. Just a matter of time. No worries. Yay, level five planting. Hello cow, hello chicken. Hello, Trello. Oh, oh, shoot. Yeah, you can attack uh, those mops that have a rat name on them. Another topaz. Thank you. Give me more seeds, please. Uh, just checking our weight. That's still good. Oh, cinnamon. 
We got a lot of cinnamon. Uh, that's foraged out. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Too strong. Too strong. Gotta admit. I really gotta admit. Too strong. Yeah, thank you, dear city god. Island god. Do you work? I was about to say something else, but do you work, please? <laughs> um, okay, this is so going to be a mess to... Yeah. Put that up on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> but, okay. Oh, come on. No. Oh. I'm having bad luck. Really bad luck. Shh, go away. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm collecting uh, bat ears because we need that for alchemy. So um, yeah, and that's what I love about this game that you can do multiple things uh, in like parallel you can collect you can collect bat ears while you're out foraging uh, let's say yeah um, sugar canes for your beer to brew you can kill bats to get bat ears for your alchemy And you can even grab a pickaxe and, and, and mine out the mountainside, the beautiful mountainside here. And and smelt yours while you wait for your plants to grow. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah, stock stalling. Come on, stop spamming. Holy Why don't I get any wheat seeds anymore? Come on. Oh, shoot. No wheat seeds? Seriously? Like, why not? Hmm. Barley, that's that's useful, I'm sure, but corn, yeah, but come on, give me some wheat, beet seeds. Eh. Confused Echo, oh, that's a cool name. Confused Echo. Oh, my wheat plant is ready to harvest. And since I'm not getting any wheat seeds, I'll probably just head back and try again. Uh, you damaged the crop. Yeah, sure. Okay. Three more seeds to to plant. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm. Yeah, I was about to say I'm a musician, but I'm really not a musician. Uh, I, I play piano. Yeah. That makes me a musician. I even played in a band. Why, well, you know, rock, blues, band, mostly blues. 
Mm. In my teenage days. Haha. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I was young as well, you know. I was a teenager too, once. <laughs> yeah. I'm still like, you know, pre teen agey somehow. Oh, we, we've got a confused echo, a mystic echo, and a hissing echo. Cool. He, he or she is probably role playing echoes. And he's confused, he's, he's mystic, and he is hissing. Love it. Cool. Yay, level six overall. We are getting stronger and stronger. But hey, I really have to admit that I'm a tiny bit tired and it's 1 a.m. <laughs> so I'll just forage that last node and then I'll head back to um, Forest Cross, I was about to say, uh, back in town into a safe zone. Yay, another blood root. And then I'm gonna call it a day. But I will definitely show up tomorrow again. And we'll do, uh, we'll probably do uh, Ashen Empires and Idol Champions because there is a new champion, uh, Shadow Heart, as far as I can remember. Uh, and we will check her out tomorrow. Well, unlock her first, of course, and then check her out. Let's see how well she performs. I sure hope she isn't as backed as Athelora was. Sorry to bring that up again, but yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, wheat plant is ready to harvest. Let's just forage that node out. Come on. And then wait for our wheat plants. Um, yeah, sorry to bring Thilora back up, but okay, I'll, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. <laughs> oh, shoot. That was... Bleh. Oh, by the way, I found out now stop spamming, really. LSP is short for Low Towers Summer Palace, by the way. That's the gathering point in game. Uh, yeah, I, I, I found out a way to um, get that, um, you know, get X amount of Sorbus uh, kills kills done that that involves <laughs> an epic speed potion and idling on every uh, 130 something in a bus uh, uh, 35 i think it was on a bus bus level yeah i'll show you tomorrow <laughs> oh we are only we need only Three more, but I'm really, 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 really tired. I'm so excited to play that game again, but I'm so tired and I just pop goes to work, pop, <laughs> pop up again, and um. 
yeah. I'm tired. I'll head back to bed. So, as always, at the end of my stream, there's, you know, my beloved microphone that I'm whispering into now. And as always, at the end of the stream, I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you live on that big rock we all live on. Everyone, well, that was too close. <laughs> uh, everyone, have fun. Everyone, behave. <laughs> Sorry, just no, I'm not sorry. Stop being sorry. Everyone just have fun and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye. I already miss you. Goodbye. <laughs>